Today I'll be trying to attempt to reform uh, Italy, but there is a little issue, as the classical way, uh, I mean the real way of doing the Itali Italian unification would be by uh, taking Sardinia and then going over Milan and grab the south and then grab Rome, but it won't be possible because I have tried it several times and trying to win a Sardinia or a Sicily is just impossible in the game in the moment because uh, the French have been really badly buffed and you always just get destroyed. So I'll be a bit cheeky and use the uh, comments which told me that I also could do with Italy so I'll try to do it with Italy. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it, you still enjoy it. Well First of all, I will still show you a little clip of how I attempted to do the Sardinia and this, uh, yeah, you can see the typical step in the Italian unification where Sardinia went and conquered Mallorca. Uh, you're gonna say that never happened, but I say that's fake news and everything rubbish. Uh, obviously, the Sardinians conquered Mallorca. Now, the, the, the real idea is just because it's impossible to get uh, Corsica because the French just can spam out you know, uh, units with experience and so just I, I could forget it and attacking mainland Italy that also doesn't work so I, I pretty soon then once scrapped the idea of actually being able to win with the mighty Sardinia even though with auto conquest used to work but now it's just a rip be able to do unification so I'll now try to yeah show you the actual attempt of getting Italy but I was playing as Italy. So step one is I had Italy. I was preparing a little attack for Naples because I was being sneaky and have to hurry a bit. Now a strategy was for unification that I shouldn't uh, get Sardinia too early in because otherwise the French just conquered them that I can't get them. And I tried to avoid the war with the French if possible, but I mean they do hold. Uh, what is it for a city there? Now that Sicily is in, I could go and recruit all of my spaghetti power. And I somehow managed to flip my screen here, but I did manage to flip it back. And could grab an early Venice. So, spaghetti and pasta looking strong. Now I still had to get, for my spaghetti, I had to get some sauce napolitana. So I was aiming for that. Napoleon and his boys were helping me. And now I had to hurry to get Sardinia, because otherwise <laughs> the pesky French would get it. Sardinia is rightfully Italy's. So on to Palermo for some nice volcanoes and death in the Vesuv. And Turin for getting some good football teams. Like you would expect, I totally declared Warner French and tried to get Turin fair and square so that they would have a chance to defend it. I was just, I wasn't just preemptively lining all my troops up to just get it in one round. I, you can't imagine me doing this. I'm a very fair player. Look, I'm just giving them the chance to still prepare a bit more because I was totally stronger than them. I'm such a fair player of this game, aren't I? And now that the French are ready, I totally declare war on them. And, uh, they, they left Turin un, unguarded, so oops, bad luck. So, that is the Italian unification. Even though it wasn't quite as planned with the actual country which did it and didn't go quite the way it should have, I still got the job done in the end. <laughs> I totally didn't cheat at all. <laughs> I was very fair in my uh, French conquering ways and yeah. Probably would have totally got wrecked in the next few rounds, but who cares? Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please give me other suggestions for unifications or challenges or whatever. I'm very open. 90% or over 90% of my viewer base are not subscribed, so I would be happy if we could get that number a little bit higher. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.